Hey guys, today I have another squishy update for you. Uh, last update I had so many squishies, the video was so long, um, and this time I have just as many, um, but instead of doing a really long video, I'm actually gonna divide this up into two parts. In part one, I'm gonna be going through all of my regular polyfoam squishies, and in part two, I'm gonna be showing you some different techniques for homemade squishies that I've been trying out recently. So after you watch this video, go to part two to see the rest of my new homemade squishies. So first I have this slice of cake and you will notice it does have a tag like last time but the tag is actually a custom tag to match this specific squishy which I've started doing for some of them not all of them just the ones that I felt like doing these were super fun to make I just drew them real quick in Photoshop and it was super easy so I figured why not um, but yeah this is uh, one of the cake slices that I did so it's just a blue frosted sprinkle cake it's got sprinkles all around in the layer and everything so lots of sprinkles and this one is pretty slow rising as you can see next I have this big chocolate cake and I did a lot of cake this uh, update just warning you but um, yeah it's got light chocolate and dark chocolate alternating layers and then white frosting and some drizzle and a tag, of course. Very squishy. It's really nice. I really like how simple it is, and I like the four different layers a lot. And here's another cake slice, and this is a watermelon themed cake. So it has like a watermelon on the top and then a green layer of frosting. It's really cute. I really like the sprinkles on the back. And it does have a custom tag also. I think that this one is really unique. I really like the design of it. It's kind of weird, but I like it. And more cake, we have another chocolate cake slice. This one's a bit smaller than the other one and it's got powdered sugar on top and a nice little vanilla layer in there which I think is really cute. And a custom tag. And, of course, I have a rainbow cake. Uh, <laughs> at this point in my collection, I think I have like maybe three different variations of rainbow cakes, but yeah, you can never have enough. This one is different though, so I really like it. And it has a rainbow tag, which is really cute. I like how it's like pastel rainbow. I think it's really pretty. And this one is so slow rising, like it will rise eventually. It just takes a while. Okay, yeah. And finally, the last cake that I have is this marble cake. And this was kind of taken from the uh, marble bunt cake that I made, I think last uh, update. But I added some sprinkles, and of course, it's a cake, not a bunt cake, so it's different. Um, but yeah, I really love this tag. This is like my favorite tag that I've made, because I don't know, I think it's just so perfect. and it fully collapses and takes forever to rise. Nope, nope, ah. Moving on to some of the cupcakes that I did. I did this one, which is very dainty, I don't know. <laughs> um, it's got a gold cupcake liner, which is really pretty, and then some light pink frosting and some powdered sugar. This one is like really nice to squish. I love it so much. Here's the tag. Then I have this big jumbo cupcake and it's got blue and pink frosting kind of like blended together on the top and then a purple cupcake liner. And if you can see that, there's like these little metallic silver hearts and polka dots on the cupcake liner. And the bottom has this annoying smudge there because I touched it when it was still wet, but I just couldn't resist. I don't know why I do that. Um, yeah, and the tag I really like.
And my final cupcake is this big chocolate cupcake with rainbow frosting. And it has the same tag as the rainbow cake because I used the same paint colors for it, so yeah. And then I did this set of sugar cookies, which I really, really love. And these were made with a new mold that I haven't shown you guys before, so I will try to find it and link it in the description, but I got it on eBay. So I don't know if it's still available, but I'll try to find it in case you're interested. Um, so yeah, this is a heart sugar cookie with pink frosting and rainbow drizzle. It has a matching tag. Then I have another heart cookie, and this one is purple with little circular sprinkles and a matching tag. And then I have the star sugar cookie, which has blue frosting and colorful sprinkles. Then I made two lollipops. We have this one, which is rainbow, very bright. And this one wasn't made with an actual mold. I actually found it at the thrift store. It's like this burger press thing, but I thought it looked like a lollipop and I thought I could make it, um, use it as a mold. And it actually worked out pretty well, I think. Um, but I don't know if I can find that again because I found it at a thrift store. I will try to find it and put it in the description if you're interested in making these. So there's that lollipop. And then I have this one, which is pink and it's dipped in chocolate and has sprinkles on it. And this tag is really cute, I think. I really like it. The back looks like that. Oh, I always have to drop one at least once. So yeah, this one is very cute. So there's that lollipop. Then I have a group of kind of random ones. Um, so I made this little cookie, which is dipped in chocolate and has powdered sugar on it. It's really cute and simple. I like it a lot. Has uh, the regular kind of blendy rainbow tag. And there's the back. And then I have this twirly lollipop, and this one is very similar to one that I made in the past. Um, I wanted to make it again because it was really fun to make, and they're really quick, actually. And it has this tag on it, and of course a stick. And um, I am still thinking about whether I'm going to continue to sign the bottom of the squishies or not like I used to. I think I will. Um, I just haven't gotten around to signing this batch, but... I'm gonna continue to do the tags, but I don't know, I kind of like having them signed also, so. Next, I have this little heart donut, and I did one of these in my last update, and a lot of people loved it, um, so I will be doing many more of these, but this is the only one um, in this update, so. It's dark chocolate with white frosting and then lots of sprinkles on top. And this one is much squishier than the other one that I made. Finally, I have this really big stack of pancakes, and this is made from two lollipops just stacked together like that. It's got syrup and like butter, but it's like kind of like a fancy butter. I don't know. I was thinking like the butter that they use at like IHOP or something. I don't know. But yeah, um, and sprinkles, even though pancakes don't usually have sprinkles, but I thought that it would look cute. Um, and here's the tag. The butter is like super slow rising. Uh, 
Okay, so that is it, but not really, because you still got part two of all the rest of the homemade squishies that I made, so check that out if you wanna see. Also, I'm gonna be posting a video for the squishies that I have for sale. I'm putting a new batch on Etsy, so make sure to check that out. So yeah, three new videos posted at the same time, so make sure to go through all of them if you're interested in squishy stuff. So yeah. See you guys in part two.